Hi, I'm Melanie Lucek, Executive Director of the Gila Watershed Partnership. And I'm Steve Flapp, Manager of the Gila Native Plant Nursery. And we are standing the CDC recommended six feet distance away from each other to tell you about the Gila Native Plant Nursery Virtual Spring Plant Sale. So as many of you are very aware, the uh, coronavirus or the COVID-19 uh, novel virus is having a pretty big impact on our communities and our way of life and um, our small businesses, but that doesn't mean that we need to stop everything that we're doing. Gardening is the perfect activity for the social distancing and, and the measures that we've been asked to abide by in order to slow the spread of the virus. Uh, and it's very healthy for you. So with our native plant sale, we are not only selling native plants, um, pollinator plants, cacti and low water use plants, but we are also doing a huge variety of heirloom vegetables that are really good for our southwestern climate and also can provide you with some nutritious meals. And boost your victory garden. Exactly. Victory gardens are a big thing right now that we're hearing about on Facebook and people are kind of bringing back that idea from World War I and World War II. Um, you, this is a perfect time to put in a victory garden. So just to recap really quickly how the virtual plant sale works. Uh, you can order your plants anytime online or by the phone. You can pay online by the phone or in person. We are open for pickup on Fridays between now and April 17th. So you can order anytime, but the pickup times are 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Fridays. And that allows us to more easily comply with all the CDC recommendations for hygiene and cleanliness and social distancing. You don't even need to get out of your car. We you will have all the plants staged for you. So really you pull up, uh, if you prepaid, we uh, put, load your order for you if you want. Um, so it's as safe as we can make it possible for you. Absolutely. So to get more information about the virtual plant sale and how it works, go to gwpaz.org and click on nursery. That'll bring you right to a video tutorial that'll walk you through the entire process as well as a plant list with photos and prices. And we're constantly updating that, so visit often. Yeah, we'll be adding the various vegetables that we have. For instance, right now we have a number of squash, tomatoes, peppers, and we'll have those listed with their prices. We'll also be having more coming online here in the next week or so. So keep what, keep an eye out. Uh, watch it uh, weekly for updates, and uh, we're happy for repeat orders. You don't have to order just once. So um, yeah, enjoy your uh, your your vegetables and, 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 and fruit. We have cantaloupe. Um, and in a moment, I'm going to show you examples of if you don't have a garden plot, there's other ways to grow your vegetables. So how much are these vegetables, Steve? Uh, these are $2 each, and as, it, as you see here by this uh, cherry-type tomato, these are nice-sized plants. They're ready to go in the ground. They definitely need to get out of these pots. So the sooner you buy them and plant them, the happier they're going to be. Shall we head out to the garden? Let's. All right, so here we are outside the greenhouse and I just wanted to show you my personal favorite way to grow vegetables. I've grown vegetables for many, many years. I've had garden plots, but actually I like growing them in pots because I can isolate them. I can do different things with them. I move them around as the weather changes and heats up. And if you provide a big enough pot, they'll live in there indefinitely. Uh, so for example, here I've got some peppers and tomatoes. Uh, again, and I just use conventional nursery pots. This is a 10 gallon pot, that's a 15 gallon pot. You can use anything, decorative pots if you want to decorate your yard. You could use an old bathtub. Just make sure whatever container you use, it has drainage holes. You want to make sure that the water can drain out. You don't want to uh, have them in a swamp. Um, and, but this way I can fertilize as plants need, so it's a really neat way of uh, just being able to grow any kind of veg fruit and vegetable. You'll see catalogs that list uh, miniature varieties for containers. You can pretty much grow almost any one, uh, any type in your uh, containers. So this is, uh, you know, for example here, I've got my tomatoes here. I can throw a little tomato cage on this thing and... It'll grow right up. It'll grow right up. And there I am. I got my little tomato 
orchard here. Can you just put a lot down? <laughs> yep. So, uh, again, containers, a neat option to the conventional uh, garden beds in your yard. And for people who live in small spaces, apartments, and or just don't want to fuss with a garden bed, have a few fruits and veggies in your uh, 